Hi, my name is Doug Riley, Assistant Chief of the City of Lakeland Fire Department. Today I have an opportunity and a privilege of telling you some interesting facts about the City of Lakeland Fire Department. The City of Lakeland Fire Department consists of a total of 170 personnel, five divisions, and seven fire stations. The Administration Division consists of the Fire Chief, two Assistant Fire Chiefs, a Fire Marshal, and four Administrative Assistants. Suppression Division being our largest division, and uh, consists of all the emergency response personnel. Um, our city is divided into two battalions. Battalion 1 covering stations 1, 2, 5, and 7. And Battalion 2 covers stations 3, 4, and 6. Our personnel work a 24 on, 48 off shift. And so we have three shifts, A, B, and C. Each shift consisting of 50 personnel. The Fire Safety Management Division consists of a fire marshal and five fire inspectors. The fire inspectors in the Fire Safety Management Division are responsible for code enforcement, plans review, arson investigation, and because we do our own in-house arson investigation, the majority of our inspectors are also duly certified, trained police officers. Training Division, a very important division to the fire department, obviously responsible for all the training, not only for fires, but um, EMS, um, hazardous materials, and all the state mandated uh, training that's required for all of our 150 personnel. The training division consists of a training chief that's in charge of everything not EMS related, and the rescue chief is in charge of all of our response on the emergency medical side, both advanced life support and basic life support, as well as all the mandated training requirements for recertification of our paramedics and our EMTs. The Communication and Outreach Division consists of a Public Information and Education Officer and a part-time Fire and Life Safety Educator. This division is responsible for all the public and media relations, all the maintaining and presenting all the social media, all the mass communication for fire and life safety, uh, the media liaison on emergency scenes, and all the special events. Our Communication and outreach uh, personnel uh, spend a lot of time in the community, uh, in the schools, teaching the young children about fire safety, uh, stop, drop, and roll, uh, exit drills, and those kinds of things, as well as uh, taking outreach uh, educational programs to the adults and the elderly in our population. Maintenance vision is very important to us because uh, obviously fire apparatus, fire engines are very unique equipment. It's not like you know your mom and dad's car. Uh, very special and it takes very special training to learn how to work on to repair and to maintain fire apparatus and additionally they also take care of all the equipment that's on uh, each of those fire trucks as well as uh, a lot of the equipment that's in the fire stations. Our fire mechanics are uh, not only ASC uh, certified mechanics they're also certified emergency vehicle technicians. Our maintenance division consists of a maintenance supervisor and two emergency vehicle technician mechanics. Uh, Lakeland Fire Department's coverage area is, consists of uh, roughly 84 square miles. You can see on the map here, all the color-coded areas are our response areas broken down into the different station zones. 91% of our coverage area is within the city limits of Lakeland, and we have about 9% of the coverage area that we cover on a contract for Polk County Fire Rescue. Insurance Service Office rating. Uh, the Insurance Service Offices is a third party uh, company that is retained by the insurance offices to go out and rate fire departments. They come in and they look at several aspects of your fire department. They look at the communication 911 center, they look at our water supply, and they look at the overall fire department. Um, they come in and they, they grade your fire department. They try to do it every three years and they come in and grade your fire department and they give you an ISO rating, a fire protection class rating. Uh, you can see on the chart here, ratings range from one to 10, one being the best that you could possibly be, and 10 basically meaning you don't have any fire coverage at all. We're very proud that the Lakeland Fire Department has an ISO rating of a two. The ISO rating of a two means that you have a very, very good fire department here in the city of Lakeland. And what does that mean to the residents? Not only do you have an awesome fire department and and great response personnel, but that ISO rating also is used by many insurance companies to set your insurance premiums. The lower the number, 
typically the lower your insurance premiums would be. You can see on the map here that the class one and class two, there's very few throughout the country, but also in the state of Florida. And you can see that Lakeland is one of only 40 class twos in the entire state of Florida. Station locations. Station one, located at 701 East Main Street, is we commonly refer to as our central fire station. It's by far our biggest fire station. It houses the most personnel and the most equipment. The reason for that is the central location and they back up at all the other fire stations for emergency calls. At station one, you'll have a battalion chief, a rescue vehicle, engine 11, engine 12, and tower 15. Tower 15 being our aerial device that has a 100 foot ladder and a bucket on the end. The, uh, we also have a rescue boat as well as an all-terrain vehicle that we use for special events and for response into really dense, tight populated areas where it's hard to get a big fire engine into. Station two is located uh, at 2104 South Florida Avenue. That's at the intersection of South Florida Avenue and Beacon Road. Uh, station two has six personnel per day and they man engine 21 and rescue 22. Station three located at 110 West Bella Vista. That's our north side fire station. It's uh, lo located there at the corner of Bella Vista and North Florida Avenue next to the north side library. By far our busiest fire station by run volume. Uh, we also have six personnel there manning engine 31 and rescue 32. But we also have, that's where Battalion Chief 2 stays as well. Station 4 is over on the west side of Lakeland. Station 4 is located at 215 Brunel Parkway. Station 4 houses not only the fire station with engine 41 and rescue 42, but it's also the location of our maintenance shop where our maintenance personnel do all the repairs and the preventative maintenance and the upkeep on all of our equipment. Station 5, our southeast location, uh, located at 3101 Lakeland Highlands Road, it currently holds engine 51 and they house four people per day. Station 6, our northeast fire station, located at 5050 North Road 33, houses engine 61 and rescue 62 for a total of six personnel per day. And Station 7. Station 7 located at 3150 Drainfield Road. Station 7 is our newest fire station located at Lakeland Linder Regional Airport property. Station 7 houses engine 71, truck 73, ARF1 and ARF2. We're going to uh, do a short slide presentation to show the progress of fire station number 7. Um, station 7 uh, was a community effort. We had a lot of support from the community because we needed a fire station in the southwest portion of the city due to extended response times from the stations that were currently covering it. And with a lot of community support and the support of the commission, we were able to build fire station number seven. Fire station seven is very unique, as I said before, because it's basically two fire stations in one. We have a need for aircraft uh, emergency protection with the ARF trucks, that's aircraft rescue firefighting, the big green Oshkosh trucks you saw in the previous picture, as well as a fire engine and a truck company to respond out to the community. This station is, was built with that design in mind and, and you'll see in the pictures here as we go through, on the right side of my screen, that's the residential side of the fire station and engine 71 and truck 73 respond out to the community and then on the other side of the station, we have two bays where ARF-1 and ARF-2 face airport property so that they can respond in a quick manner out to any type of aircraft emergency. This map shows the uh, City of Lakeland uh, Fire Department response areas. Everything is color coded on the map are the areas that we respond to for all emergency calls. The different color codes uh, breaks down the different station zones. And then the little dots that may be a little hard to see on this map uh, indicates the location of our fire stations. And there's also a circle drawn around the uh, station to show a five mile radius around those fire stations. Um, everything that's covered on the, the color coded part of this map is within five road miles of a fire station and gets the benefit of our ISO rating of a two, with the exception of some of the area way out here northeast and where the new Polytechnic campus is. And most of that area is currently undeveloped, but it's on our radar for future growth. Types of calls. Um, in 2014, we ran approximately 22,000 calls. And you can see by this illustration that the majority of those calls, 71%, were emergency medical calls. And 
We have actually a small percentage of actual real fire calls. Uh, fire calls only about 2% of those 22,000. And then we run everything else in between. We have the false alarms, service calls, and the good intent calls, and hazardous condition calls, as well as the other. We have the area of others that's just anything that doesn't fit nice and neatly into one of those categories falls into the other category. Uh, a little more about our emergency medical calls. City of Lake and Fire Department provides advanced life support response from every fire station on every apparatus with the exception of Tower 15, which is our 100-foot ladder truck. Uh, what does that mean to you? That means that these apparatus are equipped with paramedics, medication, and equipment to do everything for a person in need that an ambulance can do. We just don't transport. We are a advanced life support non-transport agency. We uh, have a unique situation here in the city where we run a dual response with Polk County Fire Rescue. Polk County Fire Rescue is our ambulance service. They do the transport of the patient to the medical facility. Because of our geographic location in the city of Lakeland, we are often closer and we can get to a, a medical call much faster. And so we run a dual response with Polk County Fire Rescue. Every emergency medical call that comes into the city of Lakeland will get a fire apparatus as well as an ambulance. That's why you will see a fire truck and an ambulance on every emergency medical call. Our guys often get on scene sooner. They start uh, life-saving interventions. They stabilize patients. They package patients. And they assist Polk County with loading that patient for transport to the medical facility. Uh, additionally, we obviously run fire calls. Uh, we run fires in homes and businesses. We run vehicle fires, grass and brush fires, as, and occasionally we'll have a suspicious fire or an arson, and uh, that's where the benefit of our arson investigators being police officers certified as well comes in to, uh, to benefit us in those arson investigation. We also, as I talked about before, the other category, we run a lot of good intent calls. Uh, sometimes the elderly will call us to you know, help get them up off the floor, go from a chair to a bed, uh, just anything that falls in that category. We run a lot of automatic alarms, the occasional false alarm, and then the service calls. Service calls anything from A to Z. Probably read in the paper recently the story about our guys going out and getting the baby ducks out of the storm drain. We occasionally get the call for to get the cat out of the tree, and uh, you name it. Uh, if nobody else will come, call the fire department, and we come out and we'll assist you at your time of need. Other services. We also have specialty teams at the fire department. Uh, we have a technical rescue team. Technical rescue team currently consists of about 45 trained personnel. Um, they respond to all types of technical um, calls that require special training and equipment. We, we do confined, confined space calls, high angle calls, trench, building collapse, vehicle machinery extrication, as well as all of our personnel are trained at the operation level for hazardous material response. Other services, uh, fire safety programs, our uh, education division uh, does a lot of community outreach. They go into the schools. We teach the school programs. We teach the stop, drop, and roll to the children, the exit drills to get out of home if there's a fire. Um, we do the crawl, low, and smoke, and all the fire safety and education and prevention to the children. But we also go reach out to the adult population as well. We target the elderly, and we teach them uh, fire safety things. Uh, we primarily try to focus on kitchen fires because more than half of our building fires are started by someone cooking and, and started in the kitchen. So we do a lot of uh, uh, preventative programs for them and educational programs about kitchen fires as well. We go into uh, local businesses. We do some fire extinguisher training and uh, other types of fire safety training with uh, adults and other businesses in our community as well. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell you a little bit about your City of Lakeland Fire Department. I um, invite you to visit our website, www.lakelandgov.net slash LFD for more information. And also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for up-to-date current information and events that are going on with your City of Lakeland Fire Department. Interact, uh, leave your comments, and just be a part of your City of Lakeland Fire Department.